Hi everybody, I'm Melanie. Thanks for tuning in. Today I have an Easter home tour for you. So let's go in. Okay, we're on the front porch and let's go in the house. So a little up, uh, background on the house. This house is over 100 years old and it's 720 square feet. Come on, Ellie. Come on, Banjo. This is Ellie and Banjo and Silas is inside too. Up oh, here comes Si. Hi, Silas. Okay, don't get crazy. Okay, sorry about that. They got a little bit barky. This is their active time. So, as I was saying, this is a 720 square foot little uh, old bungalow on the Jersey Shore. So, let's start over here with my new, my bunny warmer. Um, this is called, oh goodness, Hop, Hoppy Easter. Hoppy Easter. He's an element warmer. He's not on right now. Because I have um, wax in, which one? That one or that one? I don't even remember. Anyway, so this is the cute little uh, cabinet. This is actually our pantry. And um, you're going to see some boxes around because we're actually moving to our Tennessee house uh, permanently in a couple of months. So this is the last home, home tour that you're going to see. These are fake. All right, so we have the little bunny. This uh, stand is from Target from the dollar spot. Um, we have the etched core, now that I'm looking at it, it's a little off. Anyway, so that is the rose gold etched core that was from a flash sale. Um, I have alabaster over here on a pedestal from uh, Dollar General this year with a little hanging bunny from the Target dollar spot. Oh, and back there, that's Gatsby on a tabletop base. So I always love to decorate this. And um, so we uh, have a couple more vacations left until my husband can retire. And then we're moving down to Tennessee permanently. So we pack up our little trailer every time we go. And then after Easter, this is going. So things are going to get sparse here real quick. This is the chandelier. I love doing the chandelier up for holidays. I just think it's so cute. And everything on here with exception to these is from the Dollar Tree also. Um, as far as the table goes, a lot more Dollar Tree stuff and free. Um, this candle holder, I just put into a Bath & Body Works candle holder. This was $0.25 cents, um, at the after Christmas clearance um, at Dollar General. This was free with Bath & Body Works rewards, also free. This little table runner, I love putting either scarves from Dollar Tree or table runners on top of a regular runner to kind of beef it up and give it a different look. Um... All this stuff on here was from the Dollar Tree. This was from Target Dollar Spot. This was Target Dollar Spot with the Bath and Body Works candle. That's my little table. And it's a it's a very small house as you can see. So there's uh this is the living and dining room area. I guess next we'll go right here to this table. Here I have my uh, Scentsy, my Scentsy diffuser. It always comes up kooky on camera. Um, this is the, uh, oh goodness, what's the name of this one? Ascend, A-S-C-E-N-D, I believe. And um, I keep it on a lot, even when there's not, when it's not diffusing, because I just think it's so pretty. And then we have the Aqua Glow Warmer with the little bunny on top. And more of those fake uh, tulips and a, he has resin sign from Dollar uh, Dollar General, and that little guy is from Dollar Tree. Yeah. Hi, Silas. <laughs> oh, you're a happy boy. Oh, you want a pet? Oh, okay. I'll give you a pet real quick. Okay. And over here, we have Aziza. And that's teamed up with a bunny from the Target Dollar Spot, and this is a candle warmers, etc. diffuser. Uh, that came out before the Scentsy one, but I want the Scentsy one also. It's a lot smaller than a Scentsy one, and they're a lot louder than the Scentsy warmers. So that's kind of on the end of the couch, the other end of the couch. Ellie's playing music for us. Over here on the TV stand, 
Um, this in this little tray is what I like to keep either what I'm warming now or what's going to go on the next day. So um, right now in my warmers, I have a sugar cookie from uh, a brick and I actually have just a little bit of the brick left, like one cube of it left. So for tomorrow, I'm going to use up some stuff too. And um, I'm, I've been in a bakery mood because it's so cold out here. So this is pumpkin chai. I have one cube left of that. I'm going to use it tomorrow. And um, hazelnut latte. What is that? One and a half cubes? Not even. I guess I made a sample with that one. And the third one is coconut pumpkin pie. So I'll use those up tomorrow. And I just put those in a cute little tray. Burning right now is Bath and Body Works. Um, what is it called? It's Carrot Cake. But I think it has a cuter name. And the holder is really cute. But I love this holder. This is my uh, succulent warmer. Try to get out of the light here. And I just put this really nice, he has risen, $1 sign from the uh, Dollar Tree in there. And a little, took out the succulents and I put in a little moss with these tulips that were from the Target Dollar Spot. And a bunny from the tar Target Dollar Spot. It's a little better. Okay. Moving over to the corner. I got these little paper uh, flowers. I just thought they were so cute at the in Target on clearance for I think what a dollar eighty for all three of them. I thought they looked so cute for for the corner for spring and Easter. And this was uh, just a kind of greenery floral thing. I think maybe it's a, like an olive tree or something. I got it from Aldi. But I love adding stuff to it for the holidays. So I thought it would look really cool with these uh, iridescent pinwheels. And I actually have the uh, bubbled iridescent mini warmer on the way. It'll be here tomorrow. But I just thought these looked so cute. And I, I wasn't sure where I was going to put them, but I had an idea. And I thought, I thought it, you know, and I'm right. It just kind of adds a little bit of a twinkle to it. I don't know. It's kooky, but whatever. And then I put these little eggs in here. My cute little spritz birds from Target. And this is, uh, um, what are those called? Placemats from the uh, Dollar Tree. And then this awesome He Has Risen sign from Target with my uh, pearlized petals warmer. Now, none of these warmers in this corner are turned on because I don't have an outlet back here. But I just think they look so pretty just as display. And I do that often. Not all my warmers are on all the time. Like even some of the lit ones, I just light, light them without wax, just for ambiance. This is from the Target Dollar Spot with a uh, with the aloe vera warmer. And a little carrot from Target Dollar Spot. And that's from Target Dollar Spot too. I went Target Dollar Spot nuts this year. You know what? I didn't realize it, but I had packed away all my Easter stuff and already brought it to Tennessee. So I kind of had to like re-up my Easter stock. I should have turned this on, but this is a Luminara candle. And then we have the, another one of those $1 He Has Risen signs. Um, these are the same eggs that are on the pick, in on the picks in this up here, but I just pulled the picks out. And that gnome is from the Dollar Tree. And then this is actually the paper um, that showed, like the paper backing or whatever that was in the package with these uh, flowers. So it's just kind of hiding cords back there. So I thought that looked kind of nice. So that's my little corner. Silas is, of course, messing up the couch as we speak. Really, Si? You need to do that? Hold on. Let's fix this. I always keep the couch covered because, well, you see what they do to fix that okay so that is that side of the room now let's go into the kitchen in the kitchen we have this um, oh goodness what is this called I totally forget the name of this warmer um, it was in the uh, February whiff box it's so pretty too let me turn the light off lit from within I think it may be called lit from within I think it's so pretty Got my counter clean from a flash sale. Um, 
some Bath & Body Works hand soap that a customer actually gave me for Christmas, but it was an Easter one, so I held on to it and put it out. And this is a Scentsy dish soap, and I use the pumps from the uh, laundry stuff to, to uh, use it as a pumper. And this is a towel from the, uh, from the Dollar Tree. I use this just like a little drying towel. And over here, on top of the microwave, we have the In the Clouds warmer. And this is hard to see when it's lit up. I'm going to actually turn this off. Well, no, I can't get to the... There we go. Okay, so that's the In the Clouds warmer, and I have sugar cookie in there. And I kind of did like a little carrot theme over here on top of the microwave. Um, this is little garden warmer, and I just put some of that moss um, from the dollar store in there with some of the dollar store carrots. And put a few carrots around and this cute little sign with the bunny from Target. So that's my little wax corner over there. And then my other wax corner is my plus on uh, by the stove. And you can see this kitchen is not not a big kitchen by any stretch of the imagination. Like and that's the windows over here, so it's not a very big space. But this is my little coffee bar area. And I have my little skinny syrup coffee creamers. So we have the Bless This Home Warmer, which I really love this warmer. You know, it took me a while to get this, but I am so glad I did. I think this is so pretty. And I just did a cute little, another little house that says Happy Easter to tie it in. And this is an Aldi candle, and it is struggling right now. They do a lot of times. And you know what, This the throw isn't that much. So I just, I don't know, I'm, I like it more so for ambiance. All right, that's the kitchen, and don't mind that drawer right there. We need to put that back in before we move. Go into the bedroom. Now in the bedroom, you're going to see some boxes, because like I said, we are in the process of moving. Oh, I'll take you into the bathroom real quick. I've got... Uh, little mini warmer this was from a flash sale um i have some candleberry wax going on in here right now and it's more of a fresh scent i forget what it's called but it's not very strong and there's a lot in there i was hoping that the candleberry waxes would be all as strong as the hot buttered rolls ones that i first tried but not so much oh and ellie followed us in so i got a whole pile of boxes there for moving hi ellie yeah Okay, let's go into the corner. Hey, Banjo. Into the corner over here, we have my very favorite warmers. Don't get crazy. This is, um, He is Risen. I think this is such, a, oh, not He is Risen. That's what it says on the sign. Oh, what is it? Trust in Him. I'm sorry. I think this is such a pretty warmer. Such a pretty warmer. And it has a lot of meaning to me. Um, I'm a born again Christian. I was saved. A couple of years ago so I love this warmer and I think it's just so beautiful in the bedroom it's a great actually it, it throws really really well it's just an awesome warmer I'm getting scratched behind me <laughs> from these two okay past the box mess and in this corner we have in this corner I feel like I'm announcing a prize fight <laughs> this is the uh the Valentine's Day warmer this sold out really quick I forget what the heck this was called but um I'll turn it show it to you off it's such a pretty warmer and it's basically the same as the um there's a little silver one that's out now that is the same as it it's got let me turn it off again so you can see the little feet on the bottom it's so hard to see with See the little um, feet? Actually, it's only a 20 watt warmer because it's so small though. It really, it really does a really good job. And then the very last warmer I have to show. Actually, there's one more warmer. Um, the next to last is uh, this one that I got in the flash sale. And this is, oh goodness, ro mirrored rosé. So beautiful. No, I didn't get this in the flash sale. I'm sorry. Um, this was going out of stock last month, and I picked it up right before it went out of stock. So hopefully this will hit the uh, clearance section. And coming out here, the very last warmer is in the office, and this is just kind of a makeshift vanity I have going on right now because I moved my vanity 
to Tennessee, but this is the Diamond Milk Glass. And I love this in this in this room. I don't know why I always love having this one in here. But yeah, that is it, guys. That is my little Easter, I guess I could call it my Easter River Cottage Tour. Um, what was your favorite warmer? Any highlights that you liked? Uh, I don't know. So just like and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching my channel. Have a blessed night. Bye-bye.